Hello children, today we will do the chapter uh, polynomial that is your chapter 2 um, polynomials and in this chapter we will solve exercise 2.3 sum number 3 okay which is um, important question and uh, uh, for the exam point of view. So that is why I selected this question you see that uh, question number 3 exercise 2.3 obtain all other zeros of this uh, polynomial if two of its zeros are root over under root 5 by 3 and minus under root 5 by 3. So, you see the high what is the highest power in this polynomial that is 4. So, degree of this polynomial is what 4 ok. So, there should be 4 zeros or you can see the roots the value of x. So, out of those 4 they have given these 2 and we have to find other 2 roots ok. So, let us start. First, we will start few steps for doing. We will do watch carefully. You definitely, you will understand it. So, first, uh, they have given this value x equals to what? Under root 5 by 3. And one more they have given that is x equals to minus under root 5 by 3. So, these two has given. So, these are the zero. So, we can write this way x if we change the side if x minus under root 5 by 3 equals to 0. You can write this way and again we can write for this also x if I change this one the side of this right left, right hand side to left hand side of the equals to sign then it will become x plus under root 5 by 3 equals to 0. These two we got. Now uh, what we can do we will multiply these two so that we will get the another factor of this polynomial just like this children you see so I have taken suppose 12 12 is there 2 is the uh, factor of 12 and 3 also uh, one of the factor of 12 if we multiply these 2 and 3 what we will get we will get 6 so you know 6 is also multiple of 12 same thing here nothing different different same thing here same concept you just apply this one so what we will do we will okay and may let me start again from uh, here we will multiply these two factors right x minus underscore 5 by 3 bracket close then again x plus underscore under root 5 by 3 these two we have we will multiply what we can see see carefully you can see a minus b and a plus b right what is the formula you all know a square minus b square so here also we will do the same thing that is actually we can write equals to 0 so, a, a square means x square. So, we can write x square minus b square means under root 5 by 3 whole square equals to 0. So, x square will be x square only minus d square and d square root will cancel. So, 5 by 3 equals to 0. So, this we got. This one is looking little bit complicated. So, what we will do? We will do just x square minus 5 by 3 equals to 0 is here now. So, we will find out the LCM that is 3. So, here x square minus 5 equals to 0. You do the cross multiplication. So, 3x square minus 5 equals to 0. So, if we do cross multiplication, what we will get? We will get 3x square minus 5 equals to 0. This is another factor of this polynomial. Now, we have to find out the other two zero. So, for this, what we will do? We will divide the given polynomial by this factor. Okay. So, let us start that division. All of you can do. If you have any doubt, please ask me. I am here, you are, can ask me in a comment box, if any doubt you have, I will clear your doubt. So, I am dividing 3x square minus 5, this is the divisor, I am dividing the polynomial, what is our polynomial? 3x to the power 4 uh, plus 6x cube minus 2x square, wait minus 2 x square minus 10 x minus 5. This is our polynomial. We have to divide it and we have to find out the quotient. Okay. So, uh, here you see this is 
3x square and here it is 3x4. How you will uh, easily you can find out till then you see this trick. This is 3x square. You divide these two. 3, 3 cancel. Square and 4 that is 2. So, we will simply here we, I, we, I will take x square. Okay. Do not do mistake. You divide simply divide this way. Cut it and find out by what you will multiply this divisor. Okay. Otherwise, many children do mistake. So, x square multiply by 3x square. So, we will get 3 x to the power 4. Now, minus 5 into x square. We will write here below x square, not below x cube. So, we will write minus 5 x square. Okay. Now, we will subtract this. The sign will change. It will minus and minus sign will become plus. This will cancel. Now, plus 5 minus 2. That is, first you write 6 x cube plus 3 x square because 5 minus 2 is what? That is 3. So, 3 x square minus 10 x minus 5. Okay. Now, here it is 6 x cube. You see 6 x cube and here it is 3 x square. So, wh what you will do? 6 x cube divide by 3 x square. So, 3 to the 6. 2 and 3 cancel. Only 1 x is there. So, 2 x we will multiply by plus this sign is plus, so plus 2x, okay. This, you please apply this one, you will never, never do mistake, okay. So, multiply 3x square minus 5 by 2x. So, first 3, 3 to the 6, x square into x, that is x cube, plus minus minus 5 to the 10, 10x. So, here x, the variable x is here. So, minus 5 to the 10x. Now, you change the sign, this will minus to plus and this is minus, you will do plus, this one plus 6x cube minus 6x cube cancel and minus 10x plus 10x cancel. So, what we have? We have 3x square minus 5. Here also 3x square minus 5. So, by what we will do? We will do plus 1. So, that is our 3x square minus 5. Now, change the sign, cancel. So, our remainder has come 0. So, what we got? We got 3x x square plus 2x plus 1. So, let us do this. What we will do with this next? You see that? Very easy. You will like it. So, this we got as our reminder equals to 0. From here, we have to find out the values of x means another two zeros. Okay. Very easy. Now, we will factorize this. We will factorize middle term factor. We will apply. So, you do this way. That implies x square. It is 2x and 1. So, 1 into 1, 2. 1, plus, 1 into 1, 1. And 1 plus 1, 2. So, we will do plus x. x means 1x plus x plus 1 equals to 0. So, for here, we will take common x. So, x plus 1 plus 1, we will take common and we will get x plus 1 equals to 0. So, from these two x plus 1, we will take <coughs> x plus 1 common and here also, we will get what? x plus 1, both are x plus 1. Wow, so nice. Both are x plus 1. So, what we got? x my x plus 1 whole square or we can say that x equals to my x nature i write this way x plus 1 equals to 0 so x equals to minus 1 and from here also x plus 1 equals to 0 so x equals to what minus 1 so our two more zeros has come so what are our four all four zeros plus 5 by root under root 5 by 3 minus under root 5 by 3 and minus 1 minus 2 minus 1. So, these are our 4 zeros. Okay. If you like it, please do not forget to press the like button and if you have any doubt, any question, definitely you ask me in the comment box. Okay. And those who are new, please subscribe and share with your friends. Do not forget. So, today is this much and bye-bye.